October 6th, 1939. This week, the Winter War continues to heat up in this alternate universe. As the war is now in its sixth week, we see major things happening in Finland. This week, the Russians push far behind the Mannerheim line. The Finnish defense, defenders are pushed back. This is a very fast-paced war. The Russians expect Finland to surrender by January, January or eighth, January to April of 1940. But in the north, it's a slightly different story. The Russians don't see as much success, but they still see relatively some really little success. Typically, though, they just about you see just about as much success as you could expect. You expect they managed to pretty much take the far north part of Finland. And they also now tend to cut their country in half. The country in half. On the 6th, this is how far they've gotten. But in the south, they've already kept going. The Russian South armies have already linked up on the shores of Lake Ladoga. And at the end of the week, on the 5th, the Russians finally captured Ripuri. Just two weeks in, and Finland has already lost Ripuri. So the Russians are more ready for a finished war. Meanwhile, in France, it is pretty bad for France. Oh, the Western Front, it's pretty bad for France. See, as they are forced back. And the Germans manage to reestablish their control over Alsace Lorraine. And it's only a matter of time before the Germans launch a full scale invasion into France. That is planned for November 20th. November 20th. Obviously, Germany versus France is going to be a pretty big deal. Because France. Just had that support. The Finland have been heavily defeated, and you know Poland's already dead. There's really nothing left for Germany to really do. To really do, but there is something for the Russians to do. Follow your nose to Fruit Loops World. Follow your way through a world. Anyways, we now see other news this week. Other news in the form of... But you know that this week, we have some decently big, decently big wars happening in the Baltics. Russia, which also near and I do on top of Poland, and you own approximately this of Poland, and two, also wants to own the Baltic countries. And they join, join a little alliance together, little alliance together, and they want to see if they can really win. So we see that happening this week too. Of course, the Russians don't get too far this week. This week we do see a great Russian advance into Lithuania as the Russians continue to begin to surround Vilnius. In Estonia, though, the Russians aren't even attacking. Nevertheless, though, by the sixth, the Russians have. Surrounded Vilnius, but it hasn't fallen yet. A lot of things happened this week, including a new invasion, invasion by Russia, of course, because they just can't stop doing it. More action in Finland. France getting its butt kicked again. 
Poland's dead. It's long dead. And I forgot to update this map, but you know it's fine. So yeah, so that's it for this week. Bye bye.